over the past couple of years, I've been gathering some pieces together to build my Lego Starro, and I've had a few people ask for instructions, so I thought I'd make this little video to show off some of the secrets in this build. I guess I'll start with tentacles, since those are pretty straightforward. You can see that this is just a one by two. Let me get my brick separator here. I can start taking this apart. I've got a little boat stud on the bottom there. Just take that off. Whoops, and then it falls apart. There we go. Okay. So you can see this is just the one by two with the handle. We got a two by three plate there. And on the other side, we have the different sort of handle, one by two plate. And on the underside, got another two by three plate. Just attaching that like that. And we have a few, few of these little cheese wedges. Uh, here's the other one. It's a one by one and a one by two put that on there and I've got my other side put together already that just connects and just a little boat stud to sort of reinforce that. This could be two by four. I don't know why I made two by three, but you know, it could be whatever size you want it to be. So we'd have this connection here. That's why this is that different sort of handle because it's going to narrow down to a one by from a two by. So that'll connect like that. I'll show you this part here is much the same. I'm going to break out this middle section. We've got the one by two plate with clip and that just clips on there like that. And on the other end we've got this nice little one by one with a little handle on it and that clips on there. And this portion here is two two by threes stuck together with another boat stud. And that's just a one by one plate right there to fill in some space. And some more of these slopes one by one and one by two. I could do two one by twos, but I like to have this one bridge this gap to sort of reinforce that connection a little bit. So let's see, where's my pieces? This is just going to slip right on top there, and that connects to that. And this next little nugget here, we have two of these slopes, one by twos. And what's under here, just the same clip, two of these. This is a one by two with a little clip. And there's just two of those that clip onto this two by two plate, just a dark purple two by two plate. And uh, those clip on. And I have my slopes that clip on there. That's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna, whoops, connect those. There we go. And our last little tiny bit is just one of these little one by ones with the handle and one of these uh, one by two slopey things, curve slope. Just connect those. And those clip together. And we have a tentacle. Like I said earlier, this could be you know, four studs long. This could be three studs long. I don't really know why I did it this way, but that's how it is. Just sort of making them, uh, <laughs> should have perhaps made them a little shorter as you go along, uh, but definitely narrower, tapering down to get that sort of tentacle um, look. Just a stud for decoration there, boat stud. A little bit of reinforcement, reinforcement, boat stud. So there's the tentacle. And here's the big fella all together here. Clips right on there. 
Let's see. Oh boy, this is going to be a tricky part here. We've got sort of, aside from the tentacles, we've got sort of two sections here. We've got this outer ring here, and we've got the center portion. And this is going to get a little more complicated. If I flip this over, we got kind of a toothy maw here. This was kind of a pain to figure out how to connect, but I don't really know where to start here. This is a quite a big chunk of thing, but let's take a look. If I peel this off, I discovered this. This has always been a challenge of mine to get the sort of underside of a plate or brick to connect to another underside of a plate or brick. And I discovered somewhat recently these little sort of train wheelie pieces. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. Pulleys also used for pulleys. Um, and they've got that little nub and sort of a stud that fits, that little nub kind of fits right into one of these little holes. And there's the next kind of level up is a almost sort of a stud shape or fit. And that can fit right in there. And since it's sort of symmetrical, uh, same on both sides, that can connect right to there. It's not the best connection. It does fall off pretty frequently. So always open to hear other people's improvements on that end of it. So let's see. For this piece here, this again, this is kind of fragile, falls apart a bit. But this is just a, oh boy, how many studs is this? Probably... 8x8 eight eight studs, I would imagine, this round piece here, as the more and more pieces fall off. Just taking some of these curved pieces here, taking four of those and sticking them on. Let's take a look. Let's just take all these pieces off and see what this is. This is, yeah, 4x4, uh, 8x8 four four, uh, eight eight, rather, 8x8 eight eight round plate here. And for these guys, clip on. And I've got, these are always a pain to take out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Some of these little studs, one by one round plates with the hole in the middle. And take these little tooth fang pieces and stick them right into that hole. There we go. And just sort of angling them inward around creates that whoops creates that tooth toothy mouth kind of look all right and then just sort of trying to get this smooth transition between the body and this mouth part that's why i added these curved slopes here, two, uh, two by two curved slopes. Took a one by two plate and just add that curved slope right on top. And then for an added little bit of visual texture, I'm just gonna finish putting these teeth on here, put these teeth back. There we go. Added a little bit of visual texture. I've got this round two by two plate and this little uh, one by two slope and just sort of putting that on at that sort of angle and connecting that here I have to kind of push it in a little bit sort of pushing it in that way to kind of wedge it in it's a kind of a fragile fit do 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 They'll fit there, you can see on the underside. And where's the fourth one? There it is. Goes right there. Whoops, and I knocked some of my teeth off. Let's put that tooth back on. Yeah, let's leave that tooth off. That's going to be a pain. So you can see this is a little bit fragile. Not the best construction. I'm going to leave that like that for now. I'm going to leave that tooth off because that's a pain. And these four little bits here, like I say, just kind of fitting them in roughly, you know, filling that space there. And lining those up. Let's see if I did this the correct way. You can feel it click. It's kind of a tricky thing. Maybe I'll put that tooth back on here. Do, 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 do. There we are. 
can kind of feel that click in. It can be a little tricky to get those little pulley train wheel pieces to click in. But once you do, you kind of got a nice little tapered sort of rounded, smooth, <laughs> relatively smooth. These are Lego bricks, of course. Appearance here. Little mouth, little chunky mouth thing. And while I have this flipped over here, I'm going to show off my little stand I made. This was kind of hard while I was working on it just to kind of set it down somewhere because there's no real good plane without knocking something off, no real good flat surface on this. So I put together this little stand, just a couple slopes, two, uh, two by two slopes with a couple two by two bricks. And you get four of those little constructions. And this is just some spare parts I had lying around. Uh, any kind of round bricks, couple round bricks with a little dome on top, two by two. And just putting that in the center here. There we go. And that fits right into the mouth and makes a little convenient little display stand so that you can put it down without parts falling off. So let's see. Let's go back to my core build here. We've got this back portion, which is connected to a larger... Whoops, there we go. I'm not on camera. They go connected to a bit of a larger circle in here. You can see a dark purple circle, and that's what the eye is attached to. And then you've got this outer ring, which is all connected. And let's see if I can pull this apart without destroying the whole thing. Some pieces are already starting to fall off. That's okay. I'm going to take this part off and set it aside. You can see now here, oh, there we go. It's two pieces. These are probably, why, why, why am I going to guess? I'm not going to remember what these are. I'm going to count the studs. I don't remember how many studs these are. But uh, you can see it's connected on this hinge part. This was the trickiest part about this whole build, was getting this central section connected to this outer ring here. This is what I came up with. I don't think it's spectacularly fantastic. It does fall apart if you fiddle with it too much pretty readily. Let's take a little bit of a closer inspection here. We've got a clip, a one by one little clip. Another one of these one by ones with the handle. Got a little bit of a robot arm. And then another one by one with handle. And you can see that kind of turquoisey color there in there. And that's just fastened to this by a jumper, well, one by two jumper, and one of these little, what is that, medium azure, dark azure, one by two curved slopes. It kind of secures that so it's all nice and snug. And then on the other end, I've got two more. This is kind of an important thing. We've got the two jumpers here and the two jumpers here, but they're aligned differently on each side. These, this clips on here, and this over here is designed to attach to this here. This is a one by two clip with a one by two plate attached to it. We'll get into this uh, larger section in a minute, but uh, that clips on like that. I know I'm kind of going backwards here. I'm, I'm building backwards, but let's see if I can show this off. This is a bit tricky. Uh, that clips on. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. That clips there. So we can see that's kind of attached in there. And then we're going to swing this down and up. And that is supposed to attach. Let's see if I can get that to work again. Kind of get that angle just the right way. You can get that to attach in this uh, this handle bar area right there. And click. There we go. Perfect. So that attaches that way. A bit tricky. Oops, I lost a tentacle there. I'm going to just set that aside. That's going to fall off again before the end of it all. So let's dig into that a little bit deeper. I'm going to take that apart again and take a look at this here. This blue, this blue plates, uh, two by two plates, and this one by two here, and then these jumpers, this medium azure, dark azure, whatever it is, that's just put on there to disguise the purple underneath. We've got our purple uh, two round half, half circles, 
and that is, let's see, one, two, three, four, eight. So that's an eight by eight. I feel like I counted wrong earlier. I think I said that was an eight by eight. Ooh, I don't know. I can't count studs. You can figure that out. We got our eyeball here. That's a one by one tile with a nice little trans red dish. I think the trans red against the white dish shows, you know, pretty vibrantly. I like how that shows off. I've seen people use their printed tiles with like an eyeball. I haven't tried that yet. That might be an interesting thing to try to give it a little bit more character. Uh, just piled up. I'm sure you can use a uh, one by one round brick. I just piled up a bunch of one by one round plates and stuck them on there. How many do I have in there? There's probably four of those guys. I'm just connecting to the bottom of this dish. This is a one by one tile, a two by two dish, and this must be a, I don't know, a three dish. Let's see, that looks like a three by three dish, yeah. And I've got this little rocky trans blue, whatever color that is, trans bright blue. I don't remember what color that is. Kind of meteor shape there. And I've stuck a round one by one with the stud on top. That's sort of a plate piece, to a tile plate modified thing there. That's where I connect this little stack of studs and put the eye right in there and we've got this dome this is i believe a four by four dome and that connects and there we go and i thought just made a thought that made a nice little eyeball looking thing so that's that i took two two by two plates and just attach those to the bottom and we've got our base here you can see i've added these one by two slopes and this just fits right in the center there and that is the construction of that central piece I'm gonna set that aside over there and here's the outer ring here i'm gonna go ahead and just take all these tentacles off easier to handle that way Doo -doo. there we are oops one more you can see both sides here these are just decorative, these two by two plates. These are just two by two plates here. This is just decorative. I could certainly do a lot more. I thought about putting some more of these two by two curved boat studs on the bottom just to give it a little bit more visual interest. I don't look at the underside too much myself, so I'm not too concerned about it, but there's certainly a lot more that can be done. There's these little uh, pin pinholes here. You can stick something in there, make that a little bit more visually interesting. I haven't really experimented with that too much. Up on the top side, we've got, you can see the five sections here pretty clearly. Each section is made up of, on top, we've got these two pieces, these two curved slope wedge things. Really sure how big those are. That's got to be six, maybe six studs, eight studs. Let's take a look here. Here's some studs I can measure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Two, four, six, yeah. So that's a six stud long wedge piece and you have right and left wedge pieces. And we're gonna look here at this guy. Put, this is probably gonna be more helpful if I show off this central base piece here first. Gonna sort of take this apart if I can do that. There we are. And this is the inspiration for the whole build. These are some Nexo Knights pieces. I have no idea what they are used for. Nexo Knights. People call them the Nexagons. And once I found out they came in this color, all I could think of was this Starro uh, character from DC Comics. So it took me a couple of years, but I finally gathered all the pieces and built this guy. And these are the foundational pieces of this build. So let's take a look at that. Oops. So just taking one of these one by two with the two clips and clipping it on there. And that's what's going to eventually connect to your 
tentacles. And just to more securely attach that, I've got these two slopes here. Is this right? Am I doing this correctly? No, I'm not doing this correctly. Let's take a look. This is going to be the tentacle side. This has to be doo, 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 doo. this piece here. Yeah, I messed that up a little bit, but that's okay. Got our one by two plate right there and the two by two clips on there just like that. And these pieces would clip on right at that section right there, right at that one by two area. Just gonna clip both of these back on there. And that's how those are connected. You can see the rest of these here. That's how that's put together. But before I do that, I'm gonna go back and we've got these two other clips. This is gonna be a clip and a bar. These two pieces here, the one by two with the two clips and the one by two with the handle, uh, bar handle, whatever it's called. And you're gonna to put together four, uh, excuse me, five of these pieces here. So you're gonna to have to keep an eye on, just for the sake of keeping an eye on this, I'm gonna attach my tentacle here so we can know which direction things are going in. Each of these you put together, you're gonna to put the clip on one side and the bar on the other side and just keep that consistent as you build your five of these so that they can all you know clip together properly etc etc but before we do that i'm just gonna put these little bit of supports and decorative pieces on here these are the one by two curved slopes and i'm just gonna clip those on There we go. Nice little curve, and it gives a little bit of added support. I think when you clip these guys on, there's a bit of support there, so they're not just floating above those clip pieces. And I'm going to clip that guy on there. So that is that central base there. And we're going to make five of those, and once you have five of those, you're going to end up with this kind of wobbly structure here I'm gonna connect this one up clip there we go and this is all gonna bend inward slightly you got a slightly concave surface here to click all five of those together and that is the sort of outer ring of my starro build i'm just gonna clean up some of this business here and that's that. That's essentially it. Nope, totally forgetting. This whole chunk here. I kind of forgot about this chunk. Going along with the tentacles, keeping this outer purple line around it, I did add these sections here. They're on hinges, not so that you can flap them around, but that just sort of gives me a nice angle. Um, this is just simple hinge plate and I've got a round two by two plate I've got a little boat stud just for decoration on the bottom and I've got a one by four plate with two more of these two by uh, excuse me one by two slopes and a one by two plate it's gonna clip on there and we're going to take that and, oops, I put that on the wrong way. Let's take that piece off, clip it on that side so that we can clip this. We want the slopes to be facing downward from the inside. As they go outward, they're going to go downward. And so we've got both of those, both of those hinge plates connected here with their slopes. And that's just going to attach right, right there. That's going to clip on. Let's see. Nope, there we are. Clip on there, and these would just get folded in, and they just kind of stay there. Hopefully they'll just stay there. I think that's about that. Let's see if I can put this all back together without everything falling apart. That's a tricky aspect. Clip on all my tentacles. Nope, that's missing. Here we are. Clip, and... Clip, 
We have missing tentacle. Where'd you go, tentacle? Here we are. That's all five. And we're going to bring back in our central eyeball. This is a, another tricky thing. I, I mentioned it earlier. I forgot to mention it again. When you're building these five hexagon, um, nexagon um, pieces for the outer ring, you're going to choose one to add this little clip guy. This is just a clip with a one by two clipped underneath it. And that's going to clip onto there. And that's what's going to help hold our central eyeball section. And did it do? I'm going to clip that on there. And whoops, there we are. Sorry about that camera. This guy clips in there. This is a tricky maneuver here. Not the prettiest chunk of stuff to be hanging out from underneath, but like I say, I couldn't quite figure out any other way to connect those. I'm happy to hear other people's suggestions on how to make those sections connect to each other. Let me get our mouthpiece here. Clip this guy back on. I'm sure these are going to fall off again. These always fall off. There we are. Underside. There, just clips ever so slightly. You can feel the ever so slight little clip there when that connects. And here we go. That's my Lego Starro. I've seen one person on Twitter and Instagram, I believe, same person contacted me to show me their version, which was pretty, pretty fantastic. Certainly this is, you know, open to a lot of improvements. I'm eager to see other people's suggestions. A person on social media contacted me to show me their version and they, instead of these clips in between these clips and handles, they had added the mixel joints, which would add a lot of uh, rotational, you know, a good amount of articulation. I thought that was a very clever idea, adding the mixel joints in there. Um, open to um, any suggestions. Um, interested to hear other people's ideas on how to put such a chunky thing together. Anyway, that's, that's Lego Starro. Starro the Conqueror, ready to fight the Justice League. Let me know what you think.